Dublin, keeping the world rotating. Presenting the Dublin Video Installation Series. Presented for Evergreen Packaging. Installing the FSU steam joint for the paper industry. Step 1. Remove the existing steam joint, journal flange, insulating sleeve, and siphon. Step 2. Clean all mounting surfaces of the dryer journal and bearing housing, removing any residual gasket material. Step 3. The journal flange kit will be supplied completely assembled by Dublin. Disassemble. Step 4. In situations where a pilot extension is used, measure the depth of the pilot extension and remove the corresponding depth from the Teflon insulating sleeve. Step 5. Insert the horizontal support from inside the dryer. Step 6. Assembling the siphon system inside the dryer. Inside the dryer, position the curved pipe into the connector extension shoe sub-assembly. Secure the upper half clamp to the vertical siphon support with hex head bolts and tab washers. The initial insulation of these bolts should be done with minimal thread engagement. Repeat these steps for the lower V-block using the same fastening technique. We will be addressing the adjusting and tightening of this section later in the process. Apply anti-seize compound to the bolts. Step 7. Place the gasket on the back side of the journal flange. Using socket head cap screws secure the journal flange square to the journal end. Step 8. Position the intermediate flange and intermediate flange gasket and secure them to the journal flange with the socket head cap screws. Step 9. Clean the carbon seal, carbon seal retaining flange, and the groove in the intermediate flange with solvent, carefully aligning the slot in the carbon seal with the pin located inside the carbon retaining flange. Step 10. Apply the split wedge snap ring and then attach the split wedge into the corresponding groove and secure with the snap ring. Step 11. Clean the mounting surface on the dryer bearing housing cover and secure the bell support. Step 12. Clean the surfaces of the conical and cylindrical supports and apply anti-seize compound to the entire surface of these areas. Step 13. Position correct number of shims, if any are required, based on the measurements taken from the end of the journal to the bell mounting surface on the bearing housing cover. This will define the number of spacers required between bell support and seal cartridge to ensure proper seal position. Step 14. Carefully attach the housing assembly towards the dryer journal, taking care of not to damage the carbon seal. Tightly secure the horizontal support in the housing with the socket head cap screws and lock washers. The dowel pin in the horizontal support should be in a 6 o'clock position. Apply anti-seize compound to the four socket head cap screws and apply 50 foot pound torque. Step 15. Tightening the siphon system inside the dryer. Adjust the axial position of the vertical support by sliding it along the horizontal support 
so that the siphon shoe is in the proper position. Check the location of all counterweights for interference with the stationary siphon and relocate where necessary. Place the appropriate gauge to set the height of the back of the siphon shoe for clearance as recommended by Dublin. Tighten all connections. Step 16. Attach gasket and end cap. In keeping with our commitment to customer care, contact Dublin with any questions at 847-689-8600 or email us at customerservice at Dublin.com. Dublin, keeping the world rotating.